Throughout time, there have been mysteries mankind cannot explain. But advances in technology have led to new theories, and the search is underway for evidence that may unlock the most baffling questions of our time. On Mystery Quest. The Third Reich is crumbling. There is chaos on the streets of Berlin. The Fuhrer has retreated to his underground bunker. Fearing capture by the advancing Russian army, he is forced to make a decision. Death or surrender. But is the official account of his death a lie? Germany is doomed. The Allies are advancing on two fronts as the race for control of Berlin plays out. Adolf Hitler is out of sight, hidden beneath the streets of the city. And when Berlin finally falls, he is gone. The fate of one of the most evil men in history had become a baffling mystery. The details that have slowly emerged over the decades are sketchy. Most believe he shot himself on April 30th, 1945. Wife Eva Brown was dead by his side from cyanide poisoning. Hitler's aides hastily burned both bodies then buried them near the emergency exit to the bunker on the left of this 1947 photo. But no one saw Hitler pull the trigger. No photographs were taken, and no body was ever produced. No one actually saw Adolf Hitler shoot himself or Eva Braun commit suicide. It remains impossible, really, to prove conclusively that Hitler did shoot himself. But some facts are beyond dispute. German officials announced Hitler's death on May 1st. Twenty-four hours later, Russian forces captured the bunker and claimed Hitler's body was nowhere to be found. Even more mysteriously, Dictator Joseph Stalin maintained until his own death that Hitler had gotten away. Had he escaped to live out his days plotting revenge? For years after the war, there were sightings of Hitler from South America to Europe. U.S. intelligence even created these mock-ups to help agents determine what he might have looked like had he changed his appearance. There were reports that Hitler was not only alive, but living somewhere in the British occupation zone in northwestern Germany. In 1968, the Russians changed their account of his death, saying they had evidence to prove Hitler had died in the bunker. They claimed they uncovered the partially charred corpses of Hitler and Brown in 1945. What they didn't reveal until decades later was that they had buried the bodies at a military compound in Magdeburg, Germany. The bodies remained there for two decades until 1970 when they were dug up again. And it was around April of 1970 that the head of the KGB ordered that the remains of Adolf Hitler, Eva Braun, were to be disinterred and this time the remains destroyed. 
The mainstream belief is that the Russians then cremated the remains and scattered the ashes in the Elbe River. Then in 1993 came another shocking twist to the official Russian account when they revealed they had physical proof of Hitler's death hidden away in Moscow, including a sofa supposedly stained with Hitler's blood, a portion of his jawbone, and even more significantly, a piece of skull with a bullet hole in it. The Russians have always restricted access to the evidence, and it has never been tested using modern forensic technology. Now, Mystery Quest will travel to Russia in an attempt to gain unprecedented access to the remaining physical evidence. If successful, they will attempt to conduct the world's first DNA tests on that evidence. The results could rewrite history. They will also go to Germany to interview the last living member of Hitler's inner circle, a guard who was in the bunker during those final hours. The team will test the historical account of Hitler's death by using the latest 3D animation to recreate the bunker. And Mystery Quest will excavate the sites where the Russians claim Hitler was buried to try to find new evidence of his remains. Russia's secrecy is legendary, and the evidence they hold has rarely been seen and never tested. It is held here deep within the Russian Federation State Archive. Intense negotiations with state officials have resulted in Mystery Quest being granted one day's access to examine the evidence. Dr. Nick Bellantoni, the Connecticut State Archaeologist, will head the Mystery Quest investigation. But before he can start, Bellantoni hits a roadblock. The archive is refusing to grant him the agreed to access. Heated negotiations take place off camera. Finally, the Russians relent. But Bellantoni will get just 60 minutes to examine all the documents and gather samples needed for testing. We have less than an hour to compile all the biological data we need to take back with us. So it's not an ideal situation, certainly by any means, but we'll get something. The accepted version of Hitler's death comes mainly from a 1945 report from the British Army. It was the result of a brief investigation by Major Hugh Trevor Roper. On November 1st, 1945, he provided conclusions of his investigation, which was that Ava Brown had taken poison and that Hitler had shot himself. But Trevor Roper was given little cooperation and relied mainly on eyewitness accounts. The Soviets controlled access to the bunker. Trevor Roper was not able to conduct any kind of serious, extensive investigation. Only one of the eyewitnesses to Hitler's last days is still alive. Rochus Misch was in the Führer's bunker on April 30th, 1945. Now 92, Misch was just 27 when he was a member of Hitler's elite bodyguard unit. He remembers Hitler's last instructions. He said, the war is lost and nobody is obliged to anything. Everybody is free to go. Only those have to remain who are needed. 